Good day Minecrafters and how you going? Steve-O here with another video. Um, having to record this again because my microphone keeps stuffing up. <laughs> Don't know why. But um, I, I blame Firek. I'm in his place at the moment and playing on his coffee table. <laughs> um, so what I want to talk about today was a, uh, a wireless redstone and proximity detection. So you know, here I walk across this pressure plate. Oh, it's not really a pressure plate. There's nothing there. And it triggers those two pistons. Let me first show you what's going on here. It's no funny business, there's no redstone, just some glass. That's all it is. I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but I also want to show you that it works from a, a distance. I've covered up all the redstone so you can't see it um, yet. So here, as you can see, I triggered a whole bunch just by walking. So now let's have a look at what happened um, and why I did that why the, the signal was sent out. This here is something known as wireless redstone. Um, how it works is that basically um, the hitboxes of the two things that I'm going to show you change. So this is a normal hitbox of a glass, um, I guess you could call it cross, and a um, iron block cross thing, which changes um, as a result of you walking on it. So this is one device, and this is the other. I'll isolate them so you, we can look at them individually. So the iron block, as you can see, that's that thing there. has a massive hitbox until you change it and do that. And then as you see here, that one changes. So <laughs> when you look at it, or when you walk into it, or shoot it with an arrow, or walk on top of it, or whatever, you can also trigger both of them by doing this. So yeah, a lot of good uses and um, it's quite easy to harness the effects of both of them. So you've got, I've got a couple of band gates here to trigger others. Um, you have a total of, if you use both of them simultaneously and using both um, glass and iron blocks, you can trigger um, multiples at the same time. So like for example, let me just show you this. And hang on, I'll just oh, hang on. One minute. What I need to do is change it up a bit. I'll go on top so you can actually see it better. Let's um yeah you'll be able to see the effects on these pistons. This is only seven of the possible outputs. Like I said, there's a total of 16. Um, it's difficult to possibly harness all of them at the same time, but I'm sure that some of you are clever enough to be able to figure out how to do it. So like here, for example, is one way of getting, for example, I'm in the middle here, and I can trigger all of the blocks here. Pretty cool, huh? And, um, but there's multiple ways where, for example, you might t uh, use one output from here and one output from here connected sort of thing and have an end gate for here sort of thing or whatever. There's different outputs you can use. And um, basically how these ones work is um, with the glass, it just, it's just a generic signal. It's not trying to differentiate, but it, it sends out a pulse and you can have that connected to an alarm system or whatever. Um, so let, let me just show you how to make the system. Um, keep in mind that we can only uh, have in play, um, due to a glitch, um, one of each. You can't have two glass detectors and two iron bar detectors or anything like that. So this is our clock. Very easy and simple to make. Place a piece of redstone here, which for, as you can see for a moment turns, um, turns off. And we can place this on here, but the minute we place a boat on there, it will glitch out, which I'll show you as well. Um, and our output is here, which we don't really need anything right now. Oh, I'll put a, who cares, I'll put a piston on top. So it can be like everyone else. <laughs> and I need a pressure plate. Uh, let's put it on top of that. Uh, that's our whole system. Everything's created. Now we need a boat which I should have grabbed as well, but hey, these things happen, 
crazier things have happened. As you can see, it doesn't um, doesn't like it. Those two are staying up, and that one's staying up. Um, well, down, I should say. And so all, f all three of those are triggered. And that would work, obviously, for both sides. Like, if I was to put a, a uh, boat on this side, on top of there, it wouldn't get pushed up either. So, just something to keep in mind. You can't have more than one of each system within a short area of the other. Um, Wireless Redstone does work on multiplayer servers. Just letting you know. If done right. And, um, and that's it. Very simple concept to get your head around. Uh, I hope so anyway. <laughs> but um, you can essentially make a perimeter around your base and um, and warn yourself of anyone coming or whatever. There's a lot of cool uses for it. I haven't tapped into all of them, but I plan on making a, um, a wireless combination lock in future. I'm not sure exactly how I'm, I'm going to do that, but I've got a few ideas. Um, it would probably be um, button based and then have like no redstone underneath sort of thing but I'll work on it and like I said there's 16 possible combinations so yeah <laughs> which can be mixed up with um, I guess normal binary sort of system so uh, yeah <laughs> anyway um, I hope you like this hope you can use some wireless redstone um, proximity detectors in your redstone or in your base. Um, I think it's pretty pretty awesome. As you can see, it triggers those. Those are still up. <sighs> the thing threw it off. That's fixed now. Cool. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'm Stevo, and I'll catch you later. See ya. Got a little Swedish there. Yeah.